So, like almost every morning, I got up off of my plank of wood that I use as a bed and I checked the outside temperature using this inside, outside. It was negative 11 degrees Fahrenheit this morning here in northern New Mexico. And then, like I do most mornings, I rub the dog and I checked the news for climate change. I was shocked at what scientists have just recently, in the past day or so, discovered. I'll share that with you now. Holy shit, the state of Alaska in the United States is heading for a new ice age, according to scientists. Oh, wait a moment, it's the Daily Mail! <laughs> I should have known. Golly, and here I thought the laws of physics had changed. In the so-called newspaper's defense, the article actually states the exact opposite of what the headline states. Let's examine the data. This graph shows the average annual temperature of the entire state of Alaska from a baseline of the average for the years 1951 to 1980. As one can see, around 1976, the state of Alaska has had a sharp increase in average temperature. And yes, indeed, by golly, for the past nine and a half years, the state of Alaska has been cooling overall on average. And by the gods, it's even cooled for several years in the past, too. But please, Daily Mail readers, please ignore this honking huge seven-year warming trend. Pay no attention to that. Please look at the end of the graph and not the middle. And I would never want to ruin a perfectly good Daily Mail headline by pointing out the last 31 years of the data showing a hell of a lot of warming for the state of Alaska. Actually, yes, I would like to completely destroy a perfectly good Daily Mail headline. This chart shows temperature station data the season average and also the annual average from the baseline of 1951 to 1980 average. Here we see that two stations in autumn show a negative value from that baseline. In case you didn't spot the second one, I have marked both of them in a yellow square box here. Daily Mail believers will want to look away on this slide because it shows the winter throughout the entire state of Alaska has been warming sharply and anomalously, which only climate change can explain. And oddly enough, that is exactly what the article in the Daily Mail states, regardless of what the headline states. <laughs>